I am having a cheeky little self-care Sunday moment. I have my matcha. Caesar wraps have been all over my social media and I finally found a place that had a Caesar wrap that I feel like I just had to try it. So here we are on my little self-care Sunday trying this Caesar wrap. This is from Giada. There's a little dressing on the side. Here we go. Amazing. I feel like sometimes when you try things because you were influenced from the internet, they're not always good. And anything Chicken Caesar runs the risk of being bland as fuck, but this is not that. Mm, I've had a super awesome day so far. This morning I recorded the final part to my college graduation series. I always get so fucking nervous before I record podcasts for some reason. Like it took me probably a good 10 minutes to be, to feel comfortable talking. This is so good, oh my God. We got into how we're feeling about life post-grad, two years post-grad. I don't even understand how it's been that long. But honestly, thank God, because first year going into life post-grad was not it. I was not having a good time. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I have work with me, so I could edit. I'm out of dressing and I have a whole nother half wrap of Caesar to eat. This is not very filling, which is understandable because like, it's just lettuce. I'm sure though if I eat in the second half, I'll be full, but the problem is I don't have any more Caesar dressing and I cannot eat the rest of the wrap without Caesar dressing. So that is a problem. I think I'm gonna go hunt down some more Caesar dressing so I can finish this wrap. I'm actually satisfied. Like I'm not hungry anymore, but I'm not full. So I think I can stop here. And this will be like a good little snacky poo for later. But what do I do now? I could go on a walk. I don't know what I wanna do. Oh yes, hot girl summer. I was watching this video about how going on a walk after you eat, even if it is just like a 10 minute walk, helps your like glucose levels or f I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a fucking scientist, I don't know. But I'm I've am i been trying to keep that in mind after I eat. It also does just make you feel better. And I guess I didn't work out today. Maybe this will be my workout. Maybe I should just go on a walk. The sun's out, spend some time outside, and then I can come back and do some editing. I took these Polaroids from the pod today. Why do I look like that? I was literally hungry. Again, after that walk, I secured some Caesar dressing. Hmm, a little bit concerning. Maybe I'll just, why is it so thick?
It's so... Mm, I do not like the Caesar dressing. This is not good dressing. I guess it's better than nothing. It tastes really like milky, like you. Mm -mm. Oh my god. I just realized they put pepperoncini in this wrap. I literally love pepperoncini. Let me just see if it'll do without the dressing. I mean, it's like eating a salad without dressing. So, definitely needs the dressing. But the dressing that comes with the wrap, obviously it's gonna be superior. What a day. I kinda think it's funny that packages now have to say, real ingredients. Like, what are we making our food with? Fake ingredients? Why does there need to be a disclaimer that this has real ingredients in it? Brat summer! Okay, I have something to confess. So, in my road blush review video, I say brat girl summer because hot girl summer, right? This summer is brat girl summer. But I've been seeing everybody say brat summer or a brat summer, not brat girl summer. So, I don't know if I just made up brat girl summer because of hot girl summer. But it makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. It makes sense to say brat girl summer. Brat summer? Anyways, ever since I've been seeing people say brat summer and I said brat girl summer, I've been feeling a little self-conscious because I'm not that old, okay? I am not that old to be saying brat girl summer and not be in the loop of what the young people are saying. I am 24. That is young. Can we come to like a consensus on where Brat Summer came from and why it's not Brat Girl Summer? Or can we just say a Brat Summer, Brat Summer, and Brat Girl Summer? Like, they all mean the same thing. I just felt like I sounded a little bit like old <laughs> or like not in the loop. Do we understand what I mean? I feel like it makes more sense to say Brat Girl Summer. Brat Girl Summer. Brat Summer. Because, I mean, grammatically, I feel like brat girl summer makes more sense. But brat summer? I don't know. Since I work with, or I used to work with teenagers, like 16 to 18 teenagers. And it was my birthday. And one of them asked me, oh, how old are you turning? And I was like, 24 and then she was like oh my god that's so old i was like excuse me bitch you did not just say that 24 i mean i understand that 24 is like she's a fully grown adult but i feel like 24 is still young hello like i'm still a part of your generation what do you mean 24 is old anyways i feel like that's been kind of living in my mind a little too rent free and I kind of need to let it go. Because why is a fucking little 18 year old getting into my brain like that? Like that's a little, con that is concerning. The fact that I'm clinging on to this interaction that I had with an, a teenager telling me that I'm old because I turned 24. Although a lot of my friends are turning 25 this year I had a birthday earlier this year where one of my friends turned 25 and I, I kind of looked at that age like there was a card or something or oh the invitation had this person's 25th birthday and I was like wait hold up hold up 25 not that 25 is old but 25 is like you know halfway to 30 oh <laughs> halfway to 30 I will say though, the shift between 23 and 24 has been the biggest shift in age I've ever felt in my life. And like, I never really felt anything from like nine to 10, you're going from single digits to double digits. Or 12 to 13, you're going from 
preteen to teenager or 17 to 18 where you're going from teenager to legal adult or 19 to 20 where you're going from teenager to 20 or 21 when you can legally drink or 22 i feel like between the ages of like 20 21 and 22 those are all big ages to hit because you're exiting your teenage years you're legally allowed to drink and i feel like after 22 there's no crazy age that you turn until like 30 you know what i mean so i'm shocked at how jarring it was for me to turn 24. every single milestone age that i've turned i've like pretty much felt nothing until now like i don't know what the fuck it is about turning 24 that made it such a big deal to me but it was insane and i kind of think that turning 25 is also gonna be like just as jarring or even more jarring for me unless i somehow come to terms with aging within the next year because this fear of aging is a new thing for me i think i developed th this new fear of aging throughout my 24th birthday i don't know not into it not into it i just want to like be okay with it. Ah! Stop. Oh my god. Mm! Oh my god. Now I can go and edit. Why is it so thick? Two years ago? Yes. No. Oh fuck. The Blip, 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 blip. Oh my god, there is this fucking old man smoking a cigarette right outside of his house and he has been standing there watching me walk around. A little bit weird about it. 